Hey X-Ray Vision Stocking Crew, we just have an update on the Collector Card CT Scanning Service. They made some updates here on 8-3-2024. You can go ahead and read some of those. I find it very interesting, point number two here. And a lot of information we've received from industry insiders. We believe companies are using this technology in secret to take advantage of the collectibles market. So they're swooping in here, being the heroes of the story helping you do what other people have been doing apparently allegedly since forever ago there you go heroes right there with their superman x-ray vision oh my gosh it gets even worse so ever since my first video i've had multiple multiple comments saying this is a non-issue it makes zero sense financially for anyone to take advantage of this it's gonna be you know it's gonna be nothing in a couple of couple of weeks no one's gonna be using the service well guys guess what they just came out with an even cheaper option, $15 a pack. Yes, that is $15 a pack. Previously, I've got a lot of comments, people saying $75 a pack, it's just way too expensive. Shipping, insurance, all that stuff, it doesn't make any sense for anyone to try it. You know, but $15 a pack, that's like, that's grading fees right there. That's PSA grading fees right there. $15 a pack option. Obviously, there are less uh, options there when it comes to that $15 a pack. But at the same time, guys, this is the only company out there doing this right now that's made available to the public. You have to realize that. I try to say this multiple times in my responses. This will only get better. The technology will only get better. The prices will only get better. For people that out there that want to exploit this, want to use this, $15 a pack now. Imagine if there's a second company that comes out and says, hey, we can go ahead and offer $10 a pack. What's this company going to do? Oh, we could do nine. Oh, whoa. Boom. And then we've got a third company, a fourth company offering the same services here. Maybe they have a, they've got even better technology. So many people have said this is a non-issue. This is not going to affect look at that guys fifteen dollars a pack not only that though they've got other options kit scanning box scanning all right and case scanning case scanning it's pretty crazy pretty scary information here i know that the 75 dollars a pack was like a huge you know it's not going to make financial sense for anyone to do this at 75 dollars a pack and i kept on saying it's only going to get better it's only going to get cheaper it reminds me when people reminds me when people ask family video what do you think about streaming services and they said it's it's not going to be an issue look at what happened now you guys have to realize that technology goes exponential especially once it has been put out on the market you guys have to realize that fifteen dollars a pack is only the beginning this is the only company that's doing this right now. Imagine if there's multiple companies out there that are offering the same services, maybe even better technology for even cheaper prices. That is absolutely scary. And the fact that they have case scanning up there as an option as well, that is even more scary. Case scanning. I'm pretty sure it's not like up to par right now, but it's again, it's only going to get better with time. Now, they even said this right here. Look at their own point here. Point number uh, seven. This technology is here to stay, and there will probably be additional companies offering it as a service at some time in the future. I said this multiple times in my responses, in my video. I said, guys, I am not liking how this is going because it opens the door to a lot of things that we don't need in the hobby. We don't need this. I understand, you know, checking for a case to be legitimate, checking for a pack to be legitimate, a sealed product to be legitimate, but there's going to be so many people out there that will probably exploit this as well. You're probably going to see some eBay posting saying this box, booster box, sealed booster box has Charizard, so it's going to go for X amount more. Or this box doesn't have a Charizard, so it's going to go for X amount less. Or maybe even boxes that aren't CT scanned that are CT scanned and they're going to market as that and they know that there's not a hit in there. So it's just going to get worse and worse. Whatever happens here, whatever happens with the CT scanning stuff, just be careful. That is all I'm saying. That's all I've been saying since the very beginning. Be careful out there. This information's out there for you guys to know about it. The more people that are informed, the more likely you are able to make a better decision. Still not worth it to do modern right now, but you know, 
if they start to get down to the single digits for a pack, you know, the more and more that the, the, the lower the prices goes, the more easy it's going to get for people to start scanning a lot of like Sword and Shield or even Sun and Moon as well. So, all right, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this little, little update there. Um, and just be careful out there. We'll see what happens with this. It is still a developing story. And I honestly hope that they get rid of this because I don't think we need this in the collectible TCG market right now. So uh, thank you guys so much. I'll see you on the next one. Love you all. Peace.